Hey guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be testing out Botocera on the all new Odyssey single board computer from Seed. I believe this was formerly known as the ReComputer Alpha, but it's now known as the Odyssey. Now this is an awesome little x86 powered single board computer. We have an Intel Celeron J4105 at 1.5 gigahertz. We also have 8 gigs of LP DDR4 soldered to the board running at 2400 megahertz. I'll leave the full specs in the description, there's a lot to go over on this board and I have previously done that in a couple other videos I created. I'll also leave links to those videos in case you're interested in checking those out. But today we're going to be testing out Botocera and if you're not familiar with Botocera, it's a Linux based emulation operating system that you can install to USB or the internal storage. If you've ever used RetroPie on a Raspberry Pi, then Botocera will look very familiar because it's using Emulation Station and RetroArch just like RetroPie does. Now as for the controller I'm going to be using in this video, it's the FlyDigi A. Apex. It's a great little controller. It comes with a 2.4 gigahertz USB dongle and is detected as an Xbox One controller. So there's no setup I need to do and I personally really like using this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so here's Botocera running on the Odyssey. Everything just works right out of the box. I haven't had any trouble. Now this is installed to the internal eMMC, but you could install this to a SATA SSD or hard drive. You could also put an M.2 SSD in here or just run it from USB. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are working. Both ethernet jacks work and I have audio out of HDMI. If I wanna go with HDMI over USB type C, that also works along with audio. So everything here is working and it's functioning pretty well. As you can see here, we have the Intel Celeron J4105 at 1.5 gigahertz, but it does turbo up to 2.5. This also has eight gigs of RAM, but it's not listed here. If you want to get this up and running on your PC or your single board computer, I will leave a link in the description to a tutorial I created. Now I do have to admit that the higher end emulators like Sega Saturn, Dreamcast and GameCube did perform better in Windows. Now there's tons of different reasons about that, but it mainly comes down to drivers and emulator support. Either way, I'm still going to test them out in this video, but first up, let's go with FBA and we'll test out a CPS3 game. We'll go with Red Earth. As you can see, I do have the borders enabled and this looks really good. I'm going to go ahead and skip into some gameplay. With all the games I test in this video, I will have the FPS listed in the top right hand corner. I'm also going to have the system, game, and emulator used on screen so you know what's going on at any given time. As you can see, it's handling CPS 3 quite well, so we're not going to have any trouble with CPS 1, 2, 3, Neo Geo, and all the lower end stuff from NES on up. I'm more worried about how this board's going to handle the harder to emulate systems like Sega Saturn, Dreamcast, GameCube, PSP. So let's move up a little bit. I did want to test out a quick PS1 game. This is Bloody Roar 2. We're getting a constant 60 here, no problem at all. Moving over to N64 using RetroArch and the Moopin64 Next Core. Everything works great here. I also tested GoldenEye 007 and Conker's Bad Fur Day. It's not in this video, but it does run at full speed using this board in Bado Serra. Here's PSP using PPSSPP, 3x resolution with most of the games, but when you get up to the harder to emulate games like God of War, you will have to drop it down to 1x and 2x, but overall, it handles PSP really good. Triangle. 
toggle button to quick select another weapon. T try using the analog stick to select the acid bomb glove. Unfortunately, this little board just doesn't have enough power to push Sega Saturn, at least while using Bado Sera and RetroArch. Here's Dreamcast using RetroArch and the Flycast core. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I had much better luck with Windows and some of these higher end emulators. And it really comes down to driver support and emulator compatibility. For instance, with a full Linux desktop operating system installed on this board or Windows, you can run ReDream, which in my opinion is one of the best Dreamcast emulators out nowadays, and it runs every game that I tested close to 4K at full speed with no trouble at all. Unfortunately with Batocera, we cannot use ReDream, so we have to use the Flycast Core in RetroArch or the standalone version of Raycast. And while it's true that some games do run at full speed, you will run into a lot of games that won't run at full speed on this little board using either one of those emulators. Here we have some GameCube emulation. Yes, Badocera does support Dolphin as long as you're using the x86 64-bit version. Soul Calibur 2, it's actually running pretty decently. A lot of the easier to emulate GameCube games will work fine on this little board using Badocera. Again, I had much better performance using the Dolphin emulator while I had Windows installed, and I was actually able to access Vulkan. Now, Batocera, as of making this video, doesn't officially support Vulkan, and since it's Linux, it doesn't support DirectX 11 or DirectX 12, and with a little board like this, I prefer using DirectX 11 with the Dolphin emulator. It just works better in Windows with this tiny board. So as you just saw, we had some pretty playable performance with Soul Calibur 2. We also have some really good performance with Wind Waker, but when we move over to Super Mario Sunshine, it all falls apart. Using OpenGL as the back end, because that's all we can access in Bado Sera, and unfortunately, performance here isn't great at all. Now going into this one, I was 100% sure that we wouldn't get full speed emulation, but I still wanted to test it out here because I know a lot of people are going to ask. PS2 using the PC SX2 emulator, and this is Tekken 5, a relatively easy game to emulate. We're not anywhere near full speed with Bado Sera and the PS2 emulator. So the Odyssey definitely put up a good emulation fight using Bado Sera. As you saw, we had some really stellar PSP performance. We also had some decent GameCube performance. Now, not in all titles, but it was playable with some of those that we tested. Now, if I was to turn the Odyssey into a little retro gaming machine, I would personally use Windows, and it really comes down to driver support and those standalone emulators like ReDream and the ability to use DirectX 11, DirectX 12, and Vulkan in the Dolphin emulator. And everything that we tested here runs at full speed on Windows, and most of it's even better. But that's pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you watching. This is something I was really interested in testing out since I got my hands on the new Odyssey single board computer. And in the end, I personally feel like Windows is a better choice for emulation, just the way it works with this lower end CPU. I have created a couple other videos on the Odyssey single board computer like running Linux and Windows. If you're interested in checking those out, I will leave links in the description. If there's anything else you want to see running on this board, let me know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.